I'll introduce you. And so I jumped up and threw on my suit, and I was down there in about 10 minutes, and I was there early, standing back next to the, you know, the back door of the stage, and I was waiting and pacing back and forth, and I was rehearsing. I was having imaginary conversations, Kenny, with James Brown. You know, like you do, you're getting ready, because you're going to meet him, and I was thinking, yes, Mr. Brown, I too. But yeah, I play guitar too in a band. And, I was, and it was all going wonderful. We were having a great conversation in my mind. And then suddenly, the door opened, and James Brown stepped out, and he was resplendent. Yes. Kenny, he was. No, there was no other word. He was resplendent. And, and a guy came up and he said, Mr. Brown, this is Chris Isaac, Warner Bros. recording artist. And I put out my hand. And then James Brown said something to me. And I remember exactly, word for word, verbatim, what he said. And, I, and I'll always remember it. And he looked at me and he said, I'm not making that up. No. He, that's exactly what he said. He put out his hand, he went, ah. and, and I, I was stymied. I was nonplussed. I didn't know what to say because in that imaginary conversation I was having, that, I didn't have an answer to that. Ah. And so that was kind of our, our, on the way home as I was thinking about it. I thought, you know, actually, an artist of my stature, that was really more than I deserved. You know? And I was glad to get it. So let's kick it up now, baby. Don't you change the locks on me Cause I 